Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy Chain Wang. Welcome to the blog. You already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right. This is more people speaking on this whole matter. Clout chasing at its finest, bro. Everybody putting that two cents in. But this one right here, I'm kind of glad that he finally spoke out, even though we all speculated and we all had our own opinion. Billy Yardo, one of the members of Treyway, you know, he rolled with Seiko, Billy, Mel Matrix, Shoddy, and all of them. Um, he came out and basically he's admitting that they use 6 9 for clout. The money, the attention, the glamorous lifestyle, all that. But at the end of the day, he broke it down and, and they both used each other. Which was, that's one of the realest things that somebody could come out and say. 6 9 used them to be this gangster, paint this gangster persona, this image, because he knew that those guys was gonna be, you know, the muscle, the protection, and they basically used 6 9 They he was the guinea pig for them to make money, for them to start, what were they trying to market, their, their, uh, their brand, you know, the Treyway brand, you know, that music label. Uh, they already had upcoming artists or whatever. Um, who was it, Seiko Billy, he was already doing music, some of his views, I mean, some of his some of his music was already getting a million views or whatever the case may be, and um, basically, you know, he went into a rant and he was just like, um, that's what it was. He was just like, man, he willing to sit down and fight anybody that's standing up for six nine, like, because basically it was like how he took the whole. Well, he didn't really technically take the whole tradeway down. That's what he was breaking it down to. He had a part to play in it, but this is the same thing. Like I said, okay. These guys, they was already under investigation since 2014. I think 6 9 got with them. I forgot what year it was. I can't remember, 2018, 20. I don't remember one of those ones, but they were already under investigation. So um, when he broke it down of why he told or whatever, it was because, you know, 6 9 he wasn't come from that cloth. He wasn't like that. That was the little Mexican boy Danny from down the street or whatever the case may be, which was true. And then... um. This is one thing that I said too. They was like, well, why did he get offered the most time out of everybody? And he was like, you think everybody else wasn't getting offered those times? Yes, they did. But what they wanted to do was take it to trial. Now with 6 9 6, six 9 wasn't cut from that cloth. And you know the feds and all that, they can already peep and tell. They're going to hit that man with that number to make him afraid, to put fear in his heart. So, of course, they're going to hit you with that. And then, you know, as the process goes through and all that, Time can get dropped, reduced, or whatever the case may be. But that's why 6 9 was hit with all those years because they knew that he was going to crack. And they basically they hit him with all these years so he could sit there and stink like a canary, tell whatever information that the fans needed to know that they didn't already have. But they already had everything. So it was more so it was just like 6 9 kind of bit the, bit the bait. And um, he was like, and this is the thing I don't understand too because. You got you got six nine saying this. You got you got them saying that. But they basically was saying that um, if six nine wouldn't have ratted, he would have got treated like a king. He would have been the man. He would have got so much. He would have got so much more love and all this. Right? They would have been like he might have would have did like five six years. That's what he was saying. But I'm not understanding because you saying that right? But he did get kidnapped by harvesting them. That's what I'm not understanding. So if it was already some type of beef for something that was going on. How could I, how could we believe that? Now I'm not saying that he what he said is not true. I'm just looking at it from all angles. Now the whole thing about 6ix9ine saying that Shadi smashed his baby moms, of course he's gonna deny it because that's his man's. Now I'm not saying that he didn't, I'm not saying he didn't, but I'm still on the fact of the matter that make me believe that 6ix9ine would have got treated like a hero if it was already beef between y'all with 6ix9ine. That's what I'm not understanding. So that's something right there that's that's debatable um i want y'all to drop a comment on that because like like i say i'm not believing six nine or him to a, a full degree because like i say it's two sides of the story and it's the truth but what both of them is saying it makes sense but it don't like i'm not backing up six nine for him telling i already even got into a dialogue about that and did live streams about that or whatever the case may be but i'm just when he said that it just made it just a light bulb in my head click like all right, well, y'all did, y'all did kidnap him. Y'all did, from what, 
is being said allegedly y'all did take money from her maybe not millions of dollars but it was something now maybe you didn't do it but it was the rumors that was going around allegedly that shoddy did and i don't know if that's true i can't really honestly say um but i'm curious to hear this whole interview that whack i'm gonna say whack my bad so many names that dj academics is gonna do with shoddy because i'm not sure if if they're still beefing with shoddy but i know with some stuff that was going on shoddy was claiming he was the ceo they were saying he didn't start trade where you know everybody gonna have that that own thing to say but um like i say there's gonna be more stuff that's gonna keep unraveling more stuff is gonna come out everybody gonna keep speaking about it um like i say I wasn't there for none of this, so I don't know. But I believe, like I say, I believe certain things that everybody's saying. You get what I'm saying? Now, you're not going to sit there. He's not going to come out and physically say, oh, yeah, we were smashing the baby. But it, it could have happened. And he even said, well, from what I know, it didn't happen. So you're not even 100% sure. Um, like I said, I know Shadi was with 6 9 majority of the time. I don't think he was to a certain degree. And um, it just... It was a it was a marketable plan that backfired on everybody. They got they 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 wanted the money in the wrong aspect. Like I say, always I'm gonna always say this: all money ain't good money, all business ain't good business. And y'all tampered with something that y'all didn't know nothing about. Meaning Treyway and Six Nine because they even came out and said it. They weren't friends. They didn't know this man like that. But they 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 grew a brotherhood, a friendship as time progressed. But it's like. Like Drake say, no new friends. You get what I'm saying? I can't sit there and put give put my loyalty in a dude that I don't know, even if it is for some money. And he even even said it like, whatever six nine wanted, we did it, Be, because he was the breadwinner. And I get it. You're supposed to tech. You're supposed to protect the person that's making the money. You're supposed to protect the breadwinner. You're supposed to do that. But y'all did it for the wrong reasons. Y'all did it for clout. Y'all didn't y'all didn't protect him because y'all genuinely loved him. Y'all did it because you're going to make sure that we're comfortable. He even said it, like, not to say that they was homeless or nothing like that, but they didn't have a lot of money. They was sleeping on floors. It said 6 9 was too, but 6 9 put everybody in a position of where they made money. So you can't even sit there and throw that man under the bus. Whether he was a he was a, he was was a a cocky, arrogant, whatever, he still looked out for people, from what I'm saying and from what these guys are saying. And um, I'm curious to see if... um. Any other trade rate members want to speak about it? I want to know what Shadi gonna to have to say because Shadi basically was just like, you know, like we was already involved with stuff with Six Nine. Now I, I'm not even gonna believe the fact of the matter that he gonna say that he not mad because I know he mad. Like the dude told whether y'all was going down already anyway, he still ain't had to say nothing. And um, like I said, it's gonna be more stuff that's gonna come. Clubhouse gonna keep on jumping, and I'm curious to see. As far as Billy Otto saying that he want to get down, you know, that's what Wack 100 said. He want to get down with Wack 100. Is that going to happen? Is Wack 100 going to respond to that? Is 6 9 going to respond to that? Because like I say, I'm a little late in the video because I'm supposed to drop this video yesterday. It's 4 a.m. now. So today's going to be a new day. So somebody could have said something yesterday about what he said and it didn't drop yet. Because, you know, DJ Academics, he already going to be on it. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure, um, you know, Wack 100 gonna put his two cents in there. Dang, I'm mad. I, I'm mad. I cough like that. Dang. But um, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Y'all like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, add a friend, all that good stuff. I already know it's gonna be more drama that's gonna come with this whole clubhouse scenario. Somebody else probably gonna speak about it today or tomorrow. Like I say, I be I'm I'm calling it now because it's so predictable. You still got the whole Takashi Six Nine little term situation. I just seen something about Big U spoke about it. That's one of the crips, you know, that he's mentoring Quando Rondo allegedly, you know, Quando Rondo rock with Lil Tim. Wat One Hundred is got some type of relationship, friendship with with Big U. It's uh it's just all a big square of connections or whatever the case may be. And um, let's just see how the WWE slash Love and Hip Hop is going to play out next. Because it ain't, it ain't no music content right now. It's drama. And um, don't forget to make sure y'all tell a friend, to tell a friend, to add me, 
Shadis and all that. My bad about that cough, y'all. That was my bad, but I'm out.